So the new alien ships that have been added with update 2.3 are pretty awesome, but there's a few cool things about them that you should probably know, especially since, well, you can pretty much change the model of the ship that is rewarded to you at the end of the alien questline, as well as another method that lets you actually acquire multiple of these ships and pretty much make a fleet out of them. So I'm going to show you both of these methods in this video, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up on it would be super appreciated. Before jumping in with the video though, this month's giveaway for the game of your choice is still going strong so if you didn't get a chance to check it out yet go ahead and follow the links in the description down below and pick the game you want from the list of games over there again a huge shout out to instant gaming for helping me set these up anyway there is one misconception that i want to clear up first and foremost and many have asked the question is it actually possible to encounter these new alien ships through regular old means like for example random spawns on space stations or trading posts well, unfortunately, the answer to that question is no, that is no longer possible. It was possible on the experimental branch, and I even have some footage of me um, getting it as a first wave spawn at one of the space stations that somebody pointed me towards, but unfortunately that was unintended, it's no longer possible, and it was corrected by the time the live version of the game um, was updated. So that is how it is, and there's even like confirmations from other people out there who have pretty much done the same. I even went back through the same uh, space station to try to get it again on the live version of the game and yeah it's no longer possible you cannot get these new ships outside of the regular void egg quest line this of course brings us to the alien quest line i was talking about now if you're one of those players who already finished it then there's not much that you can do in order to change the outcome to something that you already finished but there is one thing that you can do in order to get another model and it pretty much involves buying another one of those was void eggs at the space station well for another 3200 quicksilver and once you do that it's going to put you back on track to getting a brand new alien ship uh, do not worry you don't have to repeat all the steps from the quest line in fact all you have to do is to go back in space start pulse driving for about 10 to 20 seconds this is going to make the mothership appear again it's going to give you a dialogue sequence at the end of which you're going to sacrifice the egg and this is going to then give you the this pointer right here towards another alien ship that you can go in and claim um, just you know be mindful of the fact that sometimes it can bug out and not show you an actual ship or it shows you a crash site but there is no ship so try to make a backup copy of your save files before doing so or maybe even changing the system um, but otherwise the downside here is that this is no longer free and it costs you like 3200 Quicksilver to do it again. Now for everybody else who didn't get a chance to finish the main storyline yet for the alien ship, well you are in luck because um, this pretty much means you can change the outcome and change the model of your ship by paying attention to a few steps right towards the end of the main storyline. So in phase 5 out of 5 of actually getting it. This is going to involve you, well, pretty much creating a manual save using a save beacon right Right before the dialogue sequence that uh, makes you lose the alien egg and one that further gives you the pointer towards the alien ship for the very first time and uh, yeah we're going to use this in order to save scum and actually change the outcome but another thing that you have to know is the fact that um, one system can actually spawn different ships though in my testing I did it like five times and every single time within my home system it always pointed me towards the same ship even though a in a different mission it pointed me to a different one so you're going to have to play around with this but I'm going to guide you through the entire thing. Um, nonetheless I'm gonna guide you right here from phase 4 as I was saying so phase 4 is basically when you have um, four of the five main uh, things main parts of the ship already matured in your inventory with the last one in this case being the singularity core which uh, here just matured after waiting about 24 hours so from this point what I did is I went in into space of course uh, this uh, made me um, start talking with that alien mothership again I went through the dialogue sequence and 
and once I did that, this put me pretty much in the fifth and final phase, um, where the alien egg cracked, it showed me those portal coordinates when inspecting its text, so what I did in this case is I went back through my home planet, as here is where I had a portal available, but you can pretty much do this on any star system, again, just remember that the star system is going to influence the outcome, so what you will want to do in this case is do something like me, place down a base to the next portal that you find and also place down one of these uh, teleporters right next to it so you can go to different star systems and check the alien ships over there um, because uh, once you climb back into your ship in the final phase you're going to be locked in and you're not going to be able to change the outcome anymore so once you have everything set up your base your teleporter and the portal right there um, just input the coordinates which are these right here these are universal for everybody who is doing the main quest line so input them and go through the portal once you reach the other side it's pretty much the last mission and this involves first going to this abandoned outpost interacting with uh, the alien terminal over there um, this is going to give you this vessel right here and you will need to again um, fill this three times with alien souls now fortunately enough since a ton of people have done this quest line in the past couple of hours um, there's a ton of comm stations out there that will indicate locations towards alien and graves so you can pretty much finish this part of the storyline in like two minutes at best and from this point on what was left for me to do is to actually go back at the actual portal and go through it back to my home planet so go ahead do that and as soon as you reach the other side do not yet jump into your ship do not do that because that otherwise is going to lock you in into the next part of the quest line instead do this go in pull out your uh, your save beacon place it on the ground and create a manual save because this save is going to be used to go back to and change the outcome of the main uh, of the main storyline as well as the ship I was talking about. So once you have this you can pretty much get back into your ship and what this does is that it forces you into this alien dialogue sequence um, where you are required to give in your egg this is going to delete it from your inventory and once you do that it's going to start showing you an icon where you can find the actual alien ship so this is going to be the one predetermined to the current system that you're in so from here simply head towards the destination and check out the alien ship over there if you like it um, if you do like its model go in and claim it I believe that most of the models look pretty legit though there are a few of them in there that you might not like maybe they don't have enough antennas or whatever um, but uh, I also did a bunch of testings over here so uh, just to see exactly if uh, the same system can spawn multiple ships and I re-logged about five times and every single time I did that it still brought me to the same location and it always spawned the same alien ship within the same system I was in though if you remember as I said earlier in the video the same home system was able to spawn a different ship though that was on a second and different mission that I did through a different alien egg. So I can only conclude that even though the same star system can spawn multiple types of alien ships, that will only be done through different missions and different alien eggs. So if you for example are on your first mission right here, no matter how many times you're going to relog within the same system, it's always going to point you towards the same ship. But if you do it a second time, it's going to point you towards a different one, um, which is why I recommended you having that teleporter over over there and the base in order to use it to go to a different system and uh, you know get a different model that obviously will spawn over there lo and behold if you go in and test it out you're going to see that this is going to point you to a different ship model so and this is this is basically the way that you will have to do it if you want to actually change the outcome and the ship that you are going to get now the question that remains is how about the stats how are these stats going to differ from one model to another well, well, it seems that they can differ quite a bit, though the difference over here seems to be negligible at best. Um, for example, in my case, I had one of these ships with a damage potential of 283.6, um, and this was different compared to this one right here that had 254 times 8. Uh, but uh, pretty much everything else was uh, way more similar, like shield strength seems to be always the same, maneuverability also seems to be set in stone, and hyperdrive 
5 seems to differ a little bit as in 157 compared to 162 so an even smaller difference than the damage potential I think that the damage potential is the one that um, is going to change the most from one model to another so again nothing too major you can pretty much correct this with upgrades and modules and whatnot now on a final note I also want to touch the subject of upgrade modules and how you can upgrade these ships yes you can upgrade these but it's not going to work through conventional means as a matter of fact you cannot even scrap this at the scrapper because this is treated like an actual living and breathing being so if you go over there it's even going to give you this text right here that you cannot scrap it you also cannot upgrade its slots through those means um, and you can also not uh, use any of the upgrade modules from the NPCs on it since it's a wholly different process um, but what is the process you might ask well it involves these new random encounters that were added in the new update so uh, this involves finding these alien eggs these will spawn through the new encounters at random and once you shoot them they are going to reward you a random well module that you can install on your ship in my case I was only able to get some C-class modules but I believe you can get this all the way up to the maximum rank and the easiest way to get these is actually by just using your pulse drive and then while well, waiting about 10 20 30 seconds until you get one of these random encounters again there is a big chance for these alien eggs to actually spawn if you're also using the alien egg ship so try to use the ship when you're doing these random encounters if you want to have these eggs spawning more often um, anyway this is pretty much it with the alien ships this is how you can get multiple of these this is how you can change your model um, how you can upgrade these and I, I'm pretty sure that I haven't left anything out but then let me know down below if I did in the meantime as always a comment a like and subscribe would be super appreciated and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one